Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. What we're going to talk about in this video is we, you always hear us talk about voice over IP, voice over IP. Sometimes you hear us just say SIP. Well, sometimes SIP and voice over IP, they get used interchangeably and they're really not, but it's something that happens. And so let's talk about it. So voice over IP is voice over internet protocol. It is the modern way that we use telephones. It is the modern way. So in analog phones, your voice hit a diaphragm and converted that into uh, electrical signals. And the electrical signals were sent down a wire to, it used to be back in the day, you would pick up the phone and tell the operator, hey, I need to talk to this person. The operator, you know, you ever see those pictures, they would plug, you know, take your wire and plug it in over here and connect you, right? And then your voice would go down the wire where it would uh, be, you know, basically demodulated, you know, it, using that speaker, right? So analog, bits, electricity, things like that, that all still exists. But, um, you know, as telephones evolved, the, the switchboard operator went away. You have PBXs that do all that. Well, in voice over IP, you need two things. Well, you need a lot of things. You need a network that works properly. You need decent bandwidth. You need to understand codecs and, and uh, latency and jitter and all those things. But when we just get down to what do we need for voice over IP or what makes voice over IP work, there's two things. There is SIP, Session Initiation Protocol, and then there is RTP, which is Real-Time trans Transport proto Protocol. Ugh, I can't talk at night. So what do these two things do and how do those two things make up voice over IP or voice over internet protocol? So SIP, session initiation protocol, think of that as your operator, your old, old timey operator that was moving the wires around. So SIP is responsible for um, initiating the call, maintaining the connection between the endpoints and then tearing the call down at the end and then real time transport protocol is kind of kind of think of it as the air or the uh, the impulses over the wire that delivered your voice right it is the real-time medium your voice being converted to digital and then you know back to spoken uh, word on the other side so um, sip and RTP together create voice over IP. You you really need both of those things for SIP to work. So SIP is like your broker. Just like we said, it, it initiates the call, maintains it, tears it down. RTP are those UDP packets that are just firing, 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 firing to make sure that you have a smooth, smooth phone call. And that's also, <coughs> excuse me, uh, with UDP uh, for RTP, uh, which is, that's the default. We're using UDP for this. That's why you you have to have a network that is set up properly. You can't, you know, voice anything over 150 milliseconds of latency. The calls just fall apart. But SIP and RTP, those are the two main things that make voice over IP run. If you've got questions, you want me to drill down into this a little bit more, let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. Do you like this style video too? Do you like this content? Also make sure you give it a thumbs up. You subscribe, please comment, and share, please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you'd like to support the channel by using our affiliate links or becoming a Patreon, those links are down below. And also if you need IT consulting, anything to do with voice over IP, anything to do with security, networking, um, storage, all those things, reach out at willyhow.com. Click hire us or contact us, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.